iClima Earth is a London-based green fintech. We started this venture a year and a half ago, motivated by the idea that the best way to reduce carbon in the atmosphere is by not emitting in the first place. There were no equity benchmarks with a similar focus. We wanted to shift the narrative. We wanted to look at the companies with products and services that can directly decarbonize the planet. These companies are in line with innovation. Their products and services can move us away from business as usual activities that are based on fossil fuel, like internal combustion engine cars, or our grid that still has a lot of natural gas and coal-fired power plants. We wanted to look at the companies that can enable CO2 avoidance. That is our key metric. Potential avoided emissions in terms of gigatons of CO2 equivalent per year. We have a clear purpose. We want to represent the relevant solutions. This goes beyond renewable energies and goes beyond electric vehicles, but a variety of solutions that can really decarbonize the planet. We were very inspired by the work and findings of Project Drawdown. Paul Hawken, an American environmentalist, he looked at all the 100 existing solutions that could bring the planet to carbon neutrality. Together with over 150 scholars and scientists between 2014 and 2017, Project Drawdown looked at all these solutions that could be scaled up to bring the planet to carbon neutrality. And they quantified that, a roadmap to net zero by 2050. What we did was to triangulate those findings with the list of what's called EU taxonomy, all the industries, products and services with ability to generate green revenue. So we developed our equity benchmark so that we could capture those companies. So we look at those companies, big picture, those that can enable CO2 avoidance. We look in particular sectors and industries, those with potential green revenue. We quantify that green revenue. Not all companies are pure players, so we had to have a scale. We refer to that as shades of green. We looked across all the companies in our universe and beyond to vet them in terms of relevance of their solution. At the same time, we negatively screen. We don't want contamination. We don't want companies with significant ties to the fossil fuel industry to be part of our benchmark. We wanted to identify and isolate the companies that are innovating, the companies that are moving us away from the business as usual, the companies that are driving change. It's a bit of a dramatic expression, but we like to refer to this as the seismic shift. It is seismic because it is profound. The iClima Global Decarbonization Enablers Benchmark represents 157 companies across five sectors and 28 sub-segments. These are companies changing the planet. Our benchmark is uh, calculated and published by Solective, a German benchmark administrator, and we rebalance it twice a year. First Wednesday in February and first Wednesday in August. It is a passive benchmark telling this exciting story, the story of the companies decarbonizing the planet. We bring to market this comprehensive approach. We're representing the relevant solutions across the sectors that are really in line with change. It's a portfolio approach. We're not suggesting only hold Tesla. Quite the opposite, we're saying that now is the time to hold all the solutions and all the relevant true players in line with innovation. So it's not just Tesla, it's NEO, BYD, Lialto. It is not just about electric vehicles. It is also about the potential for the green hydrogen rise, right? It's the fuel cells and the electrolyzers. These segments and solutions are well represented in our benchmark. Exposure to all of the relevant solutions. The solutions benefit from tailwind from a variety of reasons, including consumer, shift in consumer preferences. For those reasons, we think that we're representing the mega trend of our lifetime.